Welcome back to Music Monday at Home. We're about to move to our last regional segment of the day, visiting our friends in beautiful British Columbia. And following that, we'll see the spotlight celebration one final time. And afterwards, we'll head to our after party with Celine Peterson, whose father is Oscar Peterson, composer of this year's Music Monday Anthem. In this next hour, we've got kids activities with teacher Jillian in Vancouver, pianist John Kimura Parker, and so much more. Let's kick off our West Coast segment from British Columbia with a performance of O Canada by the students from the VSO School of Music. Hi, my name is Angela Elster, and I am the Vice Chair of the Coalition for Music Education Canada. I'm also the President and CEO of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra and the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra School of Music. And in everything I do, just as Dr. Eric Favreau, we are surrounded by music, we commit to music, and we understand the transformative power of music. But nobody says it better than the young people across this country. So without further ado, I introduce you to the young people who play in Sinfonietta at the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra School of Music, who in social isolation have created their rendition of O Canada in honor of the frontline workers. Enjoy. Hi everybody. Happy Music Monday to all of you from the west coast of BC. Uh, I'm a proud daughter of the public school music programs and I've had the most amazing teachers at both my elementary school and secondary school including my father David who was a high school band director at various schools in Surrey in BC when I was growing up. I discovered firsthand the value and importance of music in the lives of young people. I literally had a front row seat to the power of music education and the students that passed through that music room <laughs> went on to be arts leaders and creators all over Canada. Some of the friends I had are professors, entrepreneurs, composers, sound technicians, public school music teachers, artistic directors of theater companies, uh, music engineers, choral conductors, music producers, performers, and even there's a few of us who've been nominated for Junos over the years. But more importantly, it was the sense that every student was welcome in that music room. We knew the music room was a place of community and of common purpose. We were all invited to chase beauty and groove together and every voice mattered. Um, although I've had an amazing career as a player and performer over the years um, and band leader, I've always been deeply committed to music education because of these early years. And I've been engaged as a workshop curator and professor, jazz instructor, adjudicator, 
I've actually taught early childhood music as well, and of course private students for over 25 years. <clears throat> um, I've taught three week old babies and their moms in a baby music class. And then there's Bob, my 80 something year old drummer in my DeCapa class for seniors at the VSO School of Music. <clears throat> From the young to the young at heart. Music has something for everybody and is for everyone. And the data is clear. We know that music education, a robust music education, is one of the most whole brain activities we can do. It is truly a place where our head and our feet meet in the heart. So, as we gather virtually at this incredibly remarkable time in history, let us not take music and music education for granted. Let's celebrate and support the music teachers all over this country who are changing the world one heart at a time, one quarter note at a time. And let us join together with Hymn to Freedom, a song written by our national treasure, Oscar Peterson, who has been a huge inspiration for me and so many musicians across this country for so long. I wish you all health, wellness, peace, community, and heart. Heart-shaped quarter notes <laughs> as we move food together through this challenging time. And I'm just going to let you guys get a chance to see some of the beautiful BC weather we have right now.
Hello, Premier John Horgan here. At a time when we have to stay physically distanced from each other, one of the ways we can connect is by sharing the joy of music. Of course, great musicians aren't born, they're taught. And so to all the musicians out there, and especially to the parents and teachers who first helped them find their groove, thank you and happy Music Monday. I'm Glenn Foster, an artist and entertainer with over 10 years of experience teaching music lessons. I'd like to encourage you to get as much education as you can and never stop practicing. On behalf of Coalition Canada, have a happy Monday. Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Wright, Concert Master of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra, and this is my wife Grace, wishing you a happy Music Monday. I know we uh, can't be together right now, but at least we have our music and we can still be creative. So if you compose or you sing or you play an instrument, uh, then practice hard and enjoy the day. We're going to play a little bit of Algar for you. Hi, and welcome back to Music Monday at Home. I'm your host, Sandy Marshall, and you just heard music by Nicholas Wright, concert master of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. Music Monday is produced by the Coalition for Music Education in Canada, and we're pretty excited about our new research project, the very first national study on access to music education in Canadian schools. We want to establish what music education access looks like for kids all across the country, from our most northern schools to our smallest institutions within the nation's school boards. Each survey that is filled out by teachers and administrators makes their school eligible for one of three $5,000 instrument grants provided by Music Counts. It's a massive project, and if you'd like to learn more about it, check out our broadcast page at musicmonday.ca slash livestream. 
Before we go back to our Music Monday at Home broadcast with some children's activities with Jillian Hunter Gibbs, we want to recognize all the companies who've helped us with Music Monday this year. Supporting music education across Canada is a huge endeavor involving many people and organizations. Through their support and partnership, we're able to continue our advocacy work and hold events like Music Monday. Music Monday is made possible with the generous support of Yamaha Canada Music, the NAM Foundation, the SOCAN Foundation, and Long and McQuaid. We'd also like to recognize the Coalition for Music Education in British Columbia, the National Arts Centre, and the VSO School of Music. Thanks as well to the Coalition for Music Education's research partnering sponsors, the Canadian Music Educators Association, Music Counts, and Music Canada, as well as our research partners, People for Education, and the Canadian Network for Arts and Learning. We want to thank all of them for supporting Music Monday, the Coalition for Music Education in Canada, and all teachers and students making music across Canada. Hi, it's Jillian from the VSO School of Music. I'm here live in my house in Vancouver, and we're going to sing some songs together. So if you've got little ones, you want to come together and come and join me to do some singing. Can you wave your hands at me? Let's see if we can wave all the way across Canada. And then we're going to pop those hands on our knees and tap to the beat. Tap to the beat here we go welcome to music time this is where we sing and rhyme hello hello everyone join the circle join the fun fantastic did you see i made a great big circle with my arms when i sang join the circle and i sure wish we could be sitting in a big circle together but i'm so happy to be here with you anyways now i wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine and i tell you this is not a human friend oh <gasps> shall we see i'm gonna give you a little hint if you look behind me here you might see him <gasps> with a big letter f his name is Freddy the Frog. Yes, and he's actually asleep here under this blanket. Let me just see if I can find him, if he's if he's ready to come and sing with us. Let's just see, oh, here he is. Oh my goodness, it's Freddy the Frog. He is in fact a musical instrument made from wood. He's a guiro, oh yes. And I'm gonna teach you his song. He has his very own song. Can you help me? Let's sway our bodies side to side side, side to side. It goes Freddy, Freddy the Frog. He likes to sing all day. Say hello, Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Listen and you'll hear him say. <gasps> Shall we find out what Freddy has to say? Let's hear. Whoa, doesn't he make a great sound? Now friends, can you listen to his sound and clap back what you hear? Are you ready? Listening? <coughs> clap, clap, clap. <coughs> clap, 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 clap. Listening? <coughs> One more time. Now, Freddie has one more sound he can make. I don't know if you saw his bumpy back here. Yes, that's what makes him a guiro. And when I tickle his back, could you tap your knees really, really fast? Are you ready? Tap your knees! Tap your knees! Yay! Oh, Freddie really likes that. Shall we sing his song one more time? Did you notice in the middle of his song, I sang, say hello, Freddie. And if I bring Freddie's microphone, to you. You could sing back to me. Hello, Freddy. Let's see if I can hear you all the way in Vancouver. Here we go, friends. Let's sway side to side, side to side. It goes Freddy, Freddy the frog. He likes to sing all day. Say hello, Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Listen and you'll hear him say, listening. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. Tap your knees, tap your knees. Yay. Oh, fantastic. 
fantastic friends. Freddie says, thank you so much for singing and playing with me. Now I have one more little song to sing with you. This is a clapping song. So if you've got a grown up in the room with you or maybe a brother or sister, or if you'd like to just clap to me, pretend you're clapping me and we can clap together. This is a song all about love and it goes like this. Clap out, clap out. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, but I won't say who. One, two, three, peekaboo! It's you! Fantastic, my friends. I hope you can play that clapping game at home and a little bit of peekaboo as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Check out our website, bsoschoolofmusic.ca, and you can sing along with me every day. I post a new song and activity every day for you to do. You can check out our alphabet book and maybe join in a class as well. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a wonderful Music Monday. Bye! Welcome back to Music Monday at Home. We're approaching the end of our amazing tour across Canada. It seems like we just started, but here we are midway through our segments with British Columbia. We hope you've enjoyed today's activity. If you're still playing bingo, we've got one more spotlight celebration coming up so you can play along. Also, we've loved hearing from people across Canada who have been sharing photos and messages and the stories are still coming in, but we're not done yet. There's more music, another airing of our spotlight celebration with the amazing virtual choir and our after party. So send your brother or sister to the kitchen for more snacks, get comfy, and let's get back to the music. Happy Music Monday, everyone. I'm Rob Fleming, BC's Minister of Education, and I'd like to send a very warm welcome to the students, musicians, teachers, and volunteers participating in Music Monday today in BC and right across the country. Music Monday speaks directly to the important role that music plays in connecting all of us around the world and the joy that music brings to our lives, now more than ever. I understand how difficult these challenging times are for everyone throughout the country, especially students. So congratulations to all the students, musicians, and talented performers in BC and across our country who are part of this exciting event, and a huge special thanks to the Coalition for Music Education in Canada for your creativity and hard work in putting this virtual event together for all of us to enjoy today. I can't wait to hear the many exciting performances that will be streamed online today. So remember, be safe, take care of one another, and thank you. Hi, I'm Councillor Adrian Carr, City of Vancouver. Happy Music Monday, everyone. I am so lucky to have had music in my life, singing in choirs, playing the guitar, teaching and playing the piano, now teaching my grandson to play music. Happy Music Monday. Go for it, Ori. Woo! <laughs> Parliament for Abbotsford, BC. Music has played a very significant role in my life. As a young boy, I learned to play the piano, the violin, the guitar, even the recorder. And I've passed on that love of music to my four daughters, who are all using their musical training as teachers and musicians. A big thank you to the music teachers, students, and arts organizations across our country who delivers such a high quality music education to Canadians. On this Music Monday, enjoy the gift of great music during this time of isolation. So happy Music Monday. Hello and happy Music Monday. I'm Lisa Baer, BC's Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. I know these are difficult times and we can't get together in person to sing or play music. So I'm thrilled that Music Monday has gone virtual this year. Here in BC, we've launched our new online hub called Showcase BC. We're offering micro grants to musicians and artists to help them live stream their performances so that we can all enjoy BC music while we're staying safely at home. 
I hope all of these performances help to inspire you and help you feel connected right across our province. Happy Music Monday, British Columbia. Thank you. Mike Hurley, Mayor of Burnaby, and on behalf of the City of Burnaby, Happy Music Monday to all Canadians. Hi, I'm John Irwin, Vancouver Park Board Commissioner. I'm just uh, wishing you a Happy Music Monday, and everyone across the country knows the importance of a musical education uh, in our household and households across the country. Uh, and here's the proof.
Hello, my name is John Kimura Parker, and it's my great privilege to address you on Music Monday and to take a very small part in your festivities, which of course are being done from home this time around. It's a slightly different experience for all of us, but I think we could agree that music keeps us together in very important ways, no matter what. I wanted to share a story with you about the power of music as it related to me personally. Uh, it was 1995, all the way back in 95, the Dayton Peace Accord had just been signed uh, signaling peace in areas of Yugoslavia that had been in a terrible war. And uh, a, an American relief organization called AmeriCares was on its way into Sarajevo, delivering food, medicine, uh, and clothing, uh, mostly for children in the Kosovo hospital. And they heard that the Sarajevo Philharmonic had announced that they wanted to give a concert to celebrate uh, the new peace in the region, and it would be a New Year's Eve concert. And the president of AmeriCares, who was on the board of a symphony orchestra that I performed with, uh, contacted me and said, uh, Jackie, I'm wondering if by any chance you'd be willing to accompany our airlift to Sarajevo and perform the Beethoven Emperor Piano Concerto with the Sarajevo Philharmonic. It was a daunting prospect. Uh, I'm not used to sitting in webbed seats on the sides of, of uh, cargo jets, but that's how we made our way to Sarajevo uh, from New York, where I was living at the time. And uh, the hotel we stayed in had been very badly uh, uh, damaged. The concert hall had been damaged, but uh, thankfully not destroyed. And here I was in this very cold hall, the heating wasn't working, a very cold hall with uh, the string players in the orchestra wearing the sort of mittens with the fingers uh, open so that they could play their instruments and keep their hands warm. And uh, there were uh, Bosnias, Bosnians and Croats, and I mean, they were all sharing uh, music stands and they were so happy to be making music uh, together. Uh, and, and, and yet these terrible things had been happening. And so we, we rehearsed and, and performed this very special concert uh, to celebrate the peace. Uh, and again, this was December 31st of 1995 in Sarajevo. And after the performance, a, a very old Bosnian woman found me backstage and, and found our translator and came up to me. And uh, she, she very much wanted to tell me something. And, uh, and we waited for the translator to sort everything out. And what this lady wanted to tell me, because she had been living through the Bosnian War, uh, and what she wanted to tell me was that during the slow movement of the Beethoven Emperor Piano Concerto, for just a moment, she realized that she'd forgotten about the war. And I looked at her and I thought of music and what it can do and how it can affect people. And I'll never forget that moment. It, it was a moment where I looked around at everyone in that room and really experienced the idea of being together in harmony. I'd like to close by playing uh, just a, a very short piece of music. This is um, one of my favorite things to play at the end of the day. It's music that's meant to bring comfort in difficult times, which you know by the title. And this is just a, a short part of this piece, which is called Solace by Scott Joplin. Thank you.
Hi there, welcome to another installment of Canadian Singing Posty. Danny Boy, a traditional Irish song. Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountain side. The summer's gone and all the roses falling. It's you, it's you must go, and I must bide. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or oh, when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. But when ye come and all the flowers are dying, if I am dead, as dead I well may be, you'll come and find the place where I am lying. And kneel and say an ave there for me. And I shall hear those soft you tread above me. And all my grave will warmer, sweeter be. That you love me, and I shall sleep in peace until you come to me. So again, this was again to go out for all those Nova Scotians and all of Canada that has been affected by this unbelievable tragedy that has affected so many lives and rocked an entire um, area of the Nova Scotia, which is so rural and nothing really usually happens. Um, I also wanted to sing this out to my friend Trish, who recently lost her mother um, as well and, you know, couldn't have a proper um, uh, acknowledgement uh, because of the COVID. And uh, I thought that would be appropriate. And just for everyone who's going through just these rough times of just unexpected things, I think we're, we're holding strong. We're doing really well, but it's always good to have a little bit of a, a leg up. So out to Trish, the people of Nova Scotia and the rest of Canada. Have a good day. Hello, I'm Otto Tausk, music director of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra and artistic director of the Viso School of Music. As you can see, I'm back home in my home country with typical Dutch weather and I can't wait to be back in Canada. I really miss making music with my friends and colleagues in Vancouver. But for now, I hope to see you soon and wish you Happy Music Monday! Hello, my name is Tui Steves and I am the Associate Concertmaster of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. And on behalf of everyone at the VSO, I would like to wish everyone across the country a happy Music Monday. I come from a family of music educators who work across the country. During this time of isolation, their work has become even more vital for children and families, and I thank them for their continued work. 
Hi everyone, my name is Malcolm Armstrong and I am a member of the VSO's double bass section. This was my first year in the VSO and there were many, many great times and I can't wait to play for you guys again. I just would like to wish you all a happy Music Monday. Thank you. Happy Music Monday, Canada. My name is Kristen Reardon McClellan, and I'm the president of the Coalition for Music Education in BC. I'm also the director of education at the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra and a band director at the University of British Columbia. The CMEBC brings together teachers, students, parents, administrators, nonprofit organizations, and also industry partners to support and advance music education in BC schools. We had a fabulous Music Monday celebration planned this year on the steps of the BC Legislature. And while we are sad not to be participating in person with hundreds of students and their teachers, we are definitely looking forward to being a part of this year's nationwide virtual Music Monday celebration. And we thank our partners at Coalition Canada for making this happen for us. Our message to you on this Music Monday is to really think about what music education means in your life and what music means in your life. Music changes our brain in remarkable ways. It teaches us to understand one another in artistic ways. It unifies us and brings us together no matter where we are in the world. So we encourage everyone to just take a few minutes and think about the power of music and music education in your lives on this Music Monday. We are wishing everyone across the country health and wellness during these difficult times and we're we're looking forward to celebrating Music Monday again in person just as soon as we can. So all the best from beautiful BC and happy Music Monday. Thanks for joining Music Monday at home. We're getting to our final live performance of the day. We've heard from so many musicians across Canada and it was really tough to figure out who could help us conclude today's celebration. Music stays with you for your whole life, even if you don't become a music teacher or a professional performing musician. You've heard from a lot of people today about how important music education was for them and how much they enjoy playing today. We want to say thanks to our guests, sponsors, partners, and everyone for sharing stories about how music has impacted their lives. With that in mind, we want to introduce Nicholas Simons, MLA from Powell River, BC, who will be performing for us on cello along with a few of his friends. Hi everybody, and uh, it's really I'm really happy to be here. I'm Nicholas Simons. I'm from here in Powell River on the west coast of British Columbia, in the traditional territory of the Sa'aman First Nation, and uh, I'm really pleased to be able to be part of this. I've been playing cello since I was 11. My father was a voice professor, and so me and my five siblings were all expected to play an instrument. We all did. In fact, uh, my little sister out on the East Coast in Halifax teaches violin, and my brother, Mark, from Quebec teaches clarinet. Uh, I, have, I hope I don't miss anyone. But anyway, it's, a, it's really fun to be part of this and to celebrate uh, music teachers. And I want a special shout out to the teachers of music on the Lower Sunshine Coast and the Upper Sunshine Coast, which is out here on the beautiful West Coast. So I hope you're all doing okay wherever you are. And uh, I'm going to play the swamp. And accompanying me is Tom Kello, who is a teacher of the Lower Sunshine Coast. Uh, and he plays the piano. He went to McGill. Um, happy Music Monday. This is The Swamp by Camille Saint-Saëns. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody and I will wish everybody, especially my mom watching in Montreal, a uh, very happy Music Monday. Thank you. Welcome back to Music Monday at Home. I'm your host Sandy Marshall and I've had an amazing time hanging out with everybody today, watching performances, seeing all the conversations online, playing bingo and hearing updates from you and your families. We've got one more airing of our Spotlight Celebration featuring music, interviews, and of course, our virtual choir. And it's your final chance today to play bingo along with the broadcast, so see how many squares you can complete. But before we see the spotlight for the final time today, we're gonna leave BC with the VSO School of Music students once again with our Music Monday anthem, Hymn to Freedom. One, two, three, four.
Hi, my name is Angela Elster, and I'm the Vice Chair of the Coalition for Music Education Canada. And today we've had 12 hours of music that spanned the eastern provinces, across Canada, all 10 provinces, up north through the Northwest Territories and Nunavut, across to the Yukon, and now all the way back down to British Columbia, where I welcome you. Thank you. Thank you for 12 hours of music making. Thank you for 12 hours of joy. Thank you for 12 hours of hope. Thank you for joining your voices in Hymn to Freedom by the iconic Oscar Peterson. A very special thank you to my dear friend Kelly Peterson, to Celine Peterson, to all of our sponsors, and a heartfelt thank you to all of the young people, the teachers and musicians who've made Music Monday 2020 so special. See you for Music Monday 2021. Bye-bye.